It might mean somebody's still alive. What the hell? What? Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublikon here. Welcome back to Dead Space. Yes, I have spent a little while working on my lighting system, so if things look a little odd, it's because uh, it's now nighttime, and I had to figure that out. And uh, to add to the scary, well, it's now nighttime, so I'm going to be a little bit more jumpy than I typically am. Anyway, we last left off with me talking about these right here. Uh, I was thought it was particularly interesting that one would actually have advertisements, and I kind of felt like it would be like on a cruise ship where they'd have like, buy, you know, Coke or something. Shh. Shh. It's all right, McCoy. He's here. Nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I knew you would come. Just like you said. I, I saved this for you. Can I go now? Quiet wants to take me. The shut up. that the game does this. The game will take time to basically uh, to s just how do I put it? It's not just jump scares and creepy looking creatures. There's an absolute degree of uncomfortable oh, I was just kicking body bags. I didn't even notice that. God. There's so many of them. Why is this area so much more gross than the last one? Oh, man. Oh, and she was talking to this guy was McCoy. So, this is the Kinesis module, and I'm actually gonna try to save this person. I, uh, I don't really know if that's, you know, lore or anything. But she didn't necessarily die, she passed out, right? Now, if she becomes like a necromorph thing, I am gonna be so annoyed and terrified. It's gonna suck. That was so. God, there's a lot of them. Wow. So, this is the first time that we, like. Uh, we've seen some dead people, but. Ugh. We've seen some dead people, but, uh, it hasn't been particularly. I can also, I think, throw this, right? Yeah, that's right. I can throw it. So I can kind of create barricades if need be. Like so. Now I can't get through. God damn it. There we go. Um. God damn it. Stop. Ah. Oh, I don't want it in front of the store. You know what? That's fine there. Very good. Very good. How many credits do I have now? Just by the by. All right, we have, here we are, 2,200. We got a couple things to sell, a couple things to shoot. I have a gun that I'm looking forward to picking up. Oh, man. So, the game... Oh, that's... Oh, I forgot about that. Flamethrower. That could be pretty nice. I'm a little worried about it, though, because it's going to be, like, something that uh, requires me to be close to the opponent. No, they, they're not really no. Uh, uh, uh. Are you there? We were Asshole. attacked. Kendra's gone. One minute she was there, and I, I can't believe I lost her. We can still do this. I Get me the captain's rig codes, and we'll find Nicole. Looks like the crew barricaded the door to the emergency wing. You have to blow through it to get to the morgue. Second get some store. thermite from medical storage and Second a shock save. pad from zero-g therapy. Should be down the corridor. <laughs> Communication is useless in all this static. Huh. Why would she leave? Like, I don't really see him losing her as in like, oh, I lost you because we got, you know, like, he's military. He wouldn't leave anyone behind. I mean, unless he did something. Or unless she just chose to leave because she's, you know, going crazy scared. Oh, uh, it's stinky over here. I can hear all the flies. Oh, that's nice. Handprints. Bloody handprints. God. 
Why would there be flies on a spaceship? That means they had to, like, get on from Earth somehow. Like, the maggots had already, uh, laid their eggs. I know that's a gross statement, but, you know, the gross statement of the day. We'll go on back to the store later. We have a lot of credits now, but not quite yet. So, alright. I'm pretty confident if I go this way, the game's actually going to send me this way at one point. So I feel comfortable f going this way for now. Just saying. I know I normally go against the rule. Ugh. Oh, good. Uh. All weapons have an alternate firing mode. I know. I've been using it. Thank you, though. Switch, 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 switch. Alternate firing mode. <laughs> oh, I hear this, like, ridiculous... Get out of the door. There you go. Sorry about that, man. I didn't mean to desecrate your dead body. I have a hunch that... Alright, alright. Very good. I can just fling dead corpses. Typically, that's what a corpse is, is dead. Alright. Wow. They're just everywhere. I know, I know, I've done this before. Okay. I don't know what it is, but there's something so unnerving right now in this place. Maybe it's all the dead people. <sighs> Maybe you think, huh? Oh. So, well, it's really lit in here, which is nice. At least I'll be able to see the guys coming to kill me before they do. So what is this? Check this out. Is this necromorph research? Like, cause that's not how a normal person looks. That's like a gorilla. And that looks like somebody who has, uh, that's like a Nicki Minaj body. Sorry, Nicki, if you're watching, I actually find you very attractive. It's quite true. Uh, more stuff. Anyway, I wanted to talk about that woman in the very beginning. The game, like, listening quietly, you can hear the door banging. Stuff like that is incredibly unsettling. Like the woman, it doesn't jump out and scare you. You know it's there. Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Oh! Oh! Hi, first dude! I hope you enjoy leglessness! Hi, second dude! Oh god! Why? 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 Mother is stupid! Oh god, okay, uh, okay, reload, no god damn it! Ah! Punch! Oh god, the controller is disconnected! What a terrible time to reconnect and disconnect! Okay! Okay, time to run! Use, use a healing potion! Alright, alright, okay. Oh! Xbox controller! You and I are gonna have a very serious talk after this. Oh. Sorry everybody who I'm yelling at. Uh, okay. Alright. Okay. Alright, let's take a... I don't see any more. I don't see any more. Just a couple silly dudes being silly. I'm just gonna take a moment to keep... Alright. We're good. Come on. <laughs> Alright. Come on, friends. Line up. Come on back. There you go. Come on. Good boy. Get a little closer. Thank you. Oh, I missed. Okay. There we go. All right. All right. Come on. <sighs> I'm guessing one's still alive somewhere. We're gonna use another, um, little Healy. Oh wow, we only have twos left. Okay, well maybe not. Yeah, something's still alive. I can hear it. Oh, it's... Oh, how'd you get down there? Did it fall? That's kind of funny, actually. Alright, well, we're just gonna take this opportunity to walk around in the... Just... Oh, man. So... 
talking more about what's going on. Um, the game will have those jump out scary moments, but it'll also have these moments like with this light. You, you coming up here, or do I have to come down to you? Hold on, let me let me talk to Stan. Stan? Stan? S Stanley? St Stan, I... Stan, are you coming upstairs? I can't... I, Stan, you're, you, you gotta stop gurgling, man. Stop mumbling. Oh, here's something that is very cool. If you're short on ammunition, and you happen to have an arm, you can use it as a throwing weapon. Stan, are you upstairs now? Stan? Stan, I have one of your friends has an arm that apparently is completely stuck somewhere. Stan, where, where did you go? Stan, I can't, Stan. All right, I'm coming to you, Stanley. Stanley? Stanley! Hey, how you doing? Oh, wow, man, Stanley, you've been working out. You're taking a lot of these shots. Oh, God, Stanley. I'm impressed, Stanley. Wow, Stanley is head is like those like neck ring people oh time to fix that uh, okay so Stanley um, status recharge oh well, this is just gonna be on now is it fine all right that's where I'm going first into this room then hmm. anyway so that subtle uncomfortable uh, indicators basically things that just make you ugh. now that's the woman talking that's the light and the alarm which sorry anybody out there who's super annoyed by that I don't know how to turn it off right now um, it might mean somebody's still alive oh yeah it is exactly what that means I love how the music on cue oh I hear another one Very not dead. Get out of my way! What you? All right, we're gonna run past. Okay. Where do the hell do they come from? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, how's that make you feel, jerk? Let me reload. Oh, no reloading. I want another punch in the face. Huh? God. Oh, thanks. Well, you're welcome for fixing the stupid light. Ugh. Okay, it's not gone. Seriously, like, they're all here still. They're just not alive. The quarantine apparently can only detect, or not only. Actually, that's kind of cool that it can detect, like, living non allowed flesh. It's pretty impressive, in fact. Anyone else find it insane that I just walked through the place for a little bit and. Nobody came out? I finally convinced Jurgens to show me the video feed from the colony. And what I saw was glorious. Breathtaking. Miners undergoing a transformation into something extraordinary. I must know more. Even as the believer within me wants to become one of them, the scientist needs to uncover their secrets. I need to study one of these necromorphs, as Kind so clinically puts it. I need to witness this infection firsthand. Perhaps that patient from the colony. Well, so apparently this spread from the colony. All right, we can we can assume that pretty easily. And somebody, this guy is amazed by it too. Like he likes it. Okay. Video log. So the guy likes it, which is pretty interesting. Well, I guess we can assume that somebody helped it spread, that somebody came from the colony. What in God's name is going on down there? I oh. think that's precisely the point, Doctor. Look, you can... You God's can zoom work. In. I'm not so sure of that. We have to assume that the colony's problems are somehow connected to the marker. You can assume all you want to. I do not. The marker is glorious and divine. You... you know that. 
God moves in mysterious ways. Anyway, we'll have it on board tomorrow. You can analyze it all you want to. What are you so worried about? Worried? Captain, people are dying down there, killing each other. Is this madness the transformation unitology teaches us? Doctor, Terrence, there will always be risk when the stakes are high. And here, they're enormous. It could change everything. And that's what worries me. All right, so that kind of fills in a lot. We can basically understand, and before I get into any more, you notice something kind of cool about this bookshelf? I was, when we were listening to the people, I noticed that I could see through it. Yeah, I'll take a gold semiconductor. I don't know why, but I'll take it. Taking the plasma energy. Ooh, text log. Dr. Kine. Oh. Unitology. Video logs poor quality, but the artifact does appear to be a genuine marker. Found in Unitology's 200 year history. Okay, so they look for markers or something? The potential is enormous, not just for me personally, though it is true I've dreamed of such a discovery for decades. Humanity and the Church of Unitology. The marker could be herald the dawn of a new age for mankind, and I will, deny, will do my part to ensure it comes to pass. I know the Church will be grateful. Interesting. So, they've located a, a, a thing that apparently is spoken of in their religion called a marker. And I guess this is the marker? Let's get a little look at it. Huh. I, I guess it must be bigger? I don't know. Anyway, um, so now we know that there is a religion that apparently found something and they they think that it's, con it's what changes the people into these goopy de goops and uh, they were studying on the patient and they brought them up to um, up here. Okay, well, thanks for filling in everything that these are totally the crew, that that marker is probably what's transforming them and that uh, a bunch of religious nut jobs are the ones who... Uh, Oh, well, you can see that it's mo they're moving. Oh, and they went back in. Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> that is totally terrifying. It retreats into the body. Oh, okay. Anyway. Um, so that must, these must be uh, necromorphs then. Okay. Interesting. Oh, it was safe! Nice! We'll get that, and I guess in a second. Um, but honestly, I wasn't gonna... I kinda wanna see what's through this door before we, uh, we save. Because I feel like something could go kinda, kinda awesome. So, I mean, oh, I'm gonna save, but what I mean is like, maybe the episode won't necessarily end right at this moment. Um, because there could be something cool. No god, no fear. No god, no fear. Interesting. Oh, okay, never mind. It looks like we got a lot more to go, so I am going to take the moment to end it here. So, dudes, well, okay, checking out Isaac. Looking good, big guy. Jeez. So, that's, that's, all right, we now know we have, it's the, these are the, the crew. It's also possible people from the colony are also, are being attacked this way. And, uh, so now we have a lot going what's on, so. Jeez, God, that's, that's. Ugh. Also, controller, don't do that again, all right, buddy? Jesus. Whew. Anyway, um, thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. You want to see more, subscribe. You got to comment with the story, because now we have some understanding of what's going on with unitology and stuff. Let me know down below. And, uh, yeah, feel free to scare me with, you know, foreshadowings, too, if you know what's happening. And thank you for joining me once again. This is so much fun for Halloween and things. Anyway, y'all are super cool. May the ground rest with your feet. The wind always go at your back. And the sunshine won't mean a sexy, sexy face. See you later, dudes. Bye.